Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Assalamu alaikum dear students. This is part 3 of medical microbiology MCQs. In this lecture we will discuss more MCQs on concept of asepsis and concept of the isolation. MCQs number 1 is which physical assessment finding is most indicative of a systemic infection. So systemic infection ke liye jo most indicative finding hai wo hai temperature. Agar oral temperature 101.1 Fahrenheit it means there is an indication of systemic infection. MCQ number 2 is a client had a liver biopsy performed. The nursing action of highest priority to prevent post procedure hemorrhage would be place the client on the right side. So, in this case, the patient will be placed on the right side so that the post जो प्रोसीजर हेमरेज है वो ना हो। The partial thromboplastin time or PTT is a test used to measure blood coagulation. Which drug would directly prompt the nurse to monitor the PTT? Partial thromboplastin time. Heparin is used directly to monitor the PTT. When providing care for a client with nasogastric tube, NG tubes, the nurse should take measures to prevent what serious complication? Aspiration pneumonia. A nurse is following the principle of medical asepsis when performing patient care in the hospital setting. Which nurse action performed by the nurse follows these recommended guidelines? So the nurse moves the patient table away from the nurse body while wiping it off after me. A nurse is suctioning, suctioning secretion from a patient's nasal artificial airway. The nurse applies suction for no longer than 10 seconds. When caring for a cancer patient who also has AIDS, which protective measures should be used? Standard precautions will use while carrying the cancer patient. Which level of aseptic control kills all microorganisms including spores and viruses used on objects duty that their skin like scalpels, forceps, for example steam and articular radiation so it is the sterilization, it is the removal of all types of the pathogens including the spores. Hepatitis B, Hepatitis C and HIV are the blood-borne pathogens. As a result of sharing needed with an HIV positive person, person A, person B becomes infected. In the chain of infection, before a person B becomes infected, what was the reservoir? Reservoir conta reservoir person A. Tha. After receiving a flu shot from the CT, Hall for pre a patient developed shingles. It was learned later that one of the nurses who handled the syringes used for that day had shingles. It seems that the patient got the shingles through which formite the syringe. So, syringe is the carrier for the infection. Which of the following are major sites for healthcare associated infection? So, healthcare. Associated infection can be a sites that the prominent in the urinary and respiratory tract infection A, B, and D, bloodstream, and the D surgical or the traumatic uh, wounds. Personal hygiene for nurses A, B, and C are the good option. Take a daily bath or shower, wear a clean uniform daily. C, keep fingernail short and clean. Use breath, minutes and perfume to smell pleasant. Ye personal hygiene is not necessary. Wear the best makeup and jewelry to be pretty. Ye bhi zaruri nahi hai. Lekin personal hygiene ke liye daily bath, uh, sorry daily bath, a shower, clean uniform or fingernail short or clean hone chahiye. Responsible for more diseases than any other organism. To kaun sa organism sabse zada infection cause karta hai? To Streptococcus bacteria, jo ye sabse zada infection cause kar, karne ka bias banta hai. Anthrox infection occurs in three forms. What are they? 
इंथॉक्स इन्फेक्शन की तीन फॉर्म होती हैं ये इनहलेशन भी हो सकता है गेस्ट्रोटेस्टेनल भी हो सकता है और क्यूटीनियस तो ऑप्शन नंबर बी सी एंड डी पेरिनियल इन्फेक्शन इंथॉक्स काज नहीं करता तो इनहलेशन गेस्ट्रोटेस्टेनल और क्यूटीनियस A nurse is caring for a patient with a low white blood cell count, has prostate cancer, and has been receiving chemotherapy for the past five months. Which of the following should be implemented for this patient? A, C, and D. There should be no raw fruits, flowers, or vegetables in his room. Okay, उसको allergy होने के chances हो सकते हैं क्योंकि उसके white blood cell जो है ना वो count कम है. Patient. Should use mask when transported to the hospital. ये भी ठीक है और protect of isolation. तो ये जो procedures हैं इनको follow करना जरूरी है. A, C, and D are the correct option. During a bed bath, a chance for infection is best reduced by. तो bed bath के दौरान infection के chance कैसे कम किए जा सकते हैं? Using separate wash cloth for the each eye. तो हर eye के लिए separate wash cloth इस्तेमाल करना होगा. Which level of extended precautions requires fit test, HEPA filters, mask, patient must stay in negative pressure room, pathogen can spread on dust particles in air and spread very far. So airborne precautions. Because यहाँ पे distance थोड़ा ज़्यादा है तो जब distance ज़्यादा होगा तो इसका मतलब यहाँ पे airborne precautions इस्तेमाल करनी होगी. Which level of extended precautions? A pathogens are expelled during coughing, sneezing, talking, or laughing, but usually fall to ground within three feet. अब distance कम है, तीन feet के अंदर है. तो PPE mask if within three feet of patient, generally respiratory disorders are this. तो इस दौरान होगा droplet precautions. तो droplet और airborne में ये difference है कि droplet में distance कम होता है, जबकि airborne में distance ज़्यादा होता है. जब distance ज़्यादा होगा, तो airborne precaution. जब distance within the three feet होगा, it means we have to adopt droplet precautions. An agent that removes disease causing organism by loosening and removing the dirt and grime to which the organism are attached is called cleaning agent. Hand washing is an example of medical asepsis. A government agency concerned with disease prevention they track and manage infectious diseases at the national level. The Center for Disease Control and Prevention is a common. Which of the following has the highest possibility of contaminating a sterile field? A nurse turn her back on the sterile field. So, when a nurse turn back on the sterile field, there will be more contamination of this field. Because he or she doesn't know what is actually on his or on her back side. So, the nurse turn her back on the sterile field. This possibility is more than the sterile field to contaminate. Which of the following illustrates microorganism transmission via droplet contact? So, in droplet contact, the microorganism contact person nasal mucus when someone coughed nearby. So, when the distance is less, then the droplet precautions. An individual who is more likely than others to acquire an infection is susceptible host. So, the individual who has more infection chances are more than the chance of the immune system is less than the chance of the susceptible host. MCQ's number 26 is if a patient says that he has an urge to defecate after the nurse begins to administer a tap water enema, what should the nurse do? Nurse will lower enema bed while instructing patients to be defecated. A nurse is changing a patient pressure or subdressing using a sterile technique which I will find is, is incorrect. Remove all dressing with sterile gloves. So all dressing cause sterile gloves say, which of the following would be inappropriate use of a restraint device? Keeping an older adult client from getting up at night because of not being able to sleep. The nurse is applying for a job at a local hospital. She wants to look her best for the interview and decides to wear artificial nails. She does this knowing that artificial nails can lead to fungal growth under the nail. All are the ways to break the chain of infection except reusing gloves. Reusing gloves can of infection for breaking the infection. What is a pathogen? A small living organism that can cause disease is called a pathogen. 
which one of the following is true of surgical aseptic technique rather than medical aseptic so surgery is performed in a special room that is located away from non surgical patient so surgery in a special room is performed the procedure implies to reduce or eliminate disease causing microorganism or their action or to minimize area where disease causing organism exists in order to protect against infection or contact aseptic procedure जिन से हम माइक्रोब्स को रिड्यूस करते हैं या एलिमिनेट करते हैं ताकि वो कम से कम ना कर सके उनके नंबर को मिनिमाइज करते हैं तो इसको बोलते हैं एसेप्टिक व्हाट इज द सिंगल मोस्ट इफेक्टिव वे टू ब्रेक द चेन ऑफ इंफेक्शन हैंड वॉशिंग इज द मोस्ट इफेक्टिव वे टू ब्रेक द चेन ऑफ इंफेक्शन हैंड वॉशिंग इज एन एग्जांपल ऑफ एसेप्टिक एन एडल्ट क्लाइंट हैज अ नोज बीट After applying pressure, which action should the nurse take next? Check the blood pressure. The client is ordered to receive morphine via patient control and analgesia (ECA). Before beginning administration of this medication, what should the nurse assess first? Respiration. The process that eliminates more but not necessarily all microorganisms on non-living surface is called disinfection. Solutions that destroy microorganisms or inhibit their growth on living tissue. Living tissue पर जब microorganisms को destroy किया जाता है, तो उन उस solution को antiseptic कहते हैं. When the following concepts are compared, which is most important in maintaining a safe environment by following aseptic techniques? Recognizing the importance of following aseptic principles. A patient requires a steroid dressing change for a mid-abdominal surgical incision. An appropriate intervention for the nurse to implement in maintaining steroid asepsis is to discard items that may have been in contact with the area below the waist level. When removing the mask after an aseptic procedure, what should the nurse do first? Remove gloves. And appropriate principle of surgical asepsis is that an object held below the waist is considered contaminated below the waist koi bhi object hoga wo contaminated consider kiya jayega which is the absence of disease producing pathogen or microorganism so asepsis is the absence of disease producing pathogen or microorganism which is not part of standard precaution wear gloves whenever touching a patient it is not part of the standard precaution which of the following patient is at most risk for pressure ulcer to pressure ulcer ke liye old people zyada risk par hote hain to an 80 year old lady who just had a hip replacement and is on bed rest aur kyunki ye hip replacement hai yahan pe iska immune system thoda sa डाउन होगा इसलिए यहाँ पे 80 ईयर ओल्ड लेडी है हालांकि यहाँ पे 95 ईयर ओल्ड अल्जाइमर पेशेंट भी है लेकिन इसका इम्यून सिस्टम एज कम्पेयर टू इसका थोड़ा सा स्ट्रांग हो सकता है ए नर्स नोट्स द फॉलोइंग ऑर्डर्स ऑन द कैन केयर प्लान ऑफ ए पेशेंट ऑन एंटेरिक आइसोलेशन विद दूबिटस अल्सर विच आर दॉलोइंग ऑर्डर शोड द नर्स क्वेश्चन और आस्क क्लियरफिकेशन रिस्ट्रिक्ट विजिटर्स स्टीरायल फील्ड सेटअप कॉन्स्टेंटली मॉनिटर एंड स्टेरिलिटी मेंटेन जो स्टीरायल फील्ड है उसको कॉन्स्टेंटली मॉनिटर किया जाता है उसकी स्टेरिलिटी को हमेशा मेंटेन किया जाता है व्हाट इज द मोस्ट इफेक्टिव वे टू हेल्प प्रिवेंट द स्प्रेड ऑफ ऑर्गेनिज्म हैंड हाइजीन व्हाट इज द एब्सेंस ऑफ ऑल माइक्रोनिज्म विद इन एनी टाइप ऑफ इन्वेसिव प्रोसीजर तो सर्जिकल एसेप्स जब इन्वेसिव प्रोसीजर में एबसेंस ऑफ ऑल माइक्रोग्राम की बात की जाएगी तो ये सर्जिकल एसेप्सिस है वट इज अ सेट ऑफ स्पेसिफिक प्रैक्टिस एंड प्रोसीजर्स परफॉर्म टू मेक इक्विपमेंट एंड एरियाज फ्री फ्रॉम ऑल माइक्रोग्राम एंड टू मेंटेन देर स्टेरिलिटी स्टेरल टेक्निक्स विच आर दॉलोइंग इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ इन डायरेक्ट कंटेक्ट एंड हेलिंग ऑफ ड्रॉपलेट्स आफ्टर स्नीजिंग वट इज इन्फेक्शन प्रिवेंशन A set of methods used to prevent the spread of disease. Which patient may the nurse suspect will be at risk for a latex allergy? Patient with food allergies. Which of the following is an appropriate technique for the nurse to use when performing sterile gloves? Interlock the hands after both gloves are applied. 
in humans which of the following is not a common portal of exit or escape routes the muscular system is not a common portal of exit a client is receiving a unit of paid red blood cells the client experiences tingling in the fingers and headache what is the nurse's priority action stop the transfusion the nurse is preparing to insert a urinary catheter the package is dry but shows sign of delving inside the plastic wrapper as if the package was wet at one time what would the nurse do discard the entire package as contaminated standard precautions were developed by standard precautions were developed by cdc center for disease and control what should be the using with all patients all the time standard precautions should be used with all patients and in all the times this means that pathogens that are spread by touching contaminated items contact precautions universal and standard precautions cover all situation where which might be present but fluids might be present at type 1 hypersensitivity to latex is evident if the nurse assesses tachycardia hypotension and wheezing a nurse is preparing a sterile field for a dressing change using surgical aseptic technique the nurse catheter supplies to prepare the sterile field using a package drip which option correctly describe how the nurse should set up the field a wide dropping sterile supplies close to 1 inch border around the drip a female client refuses bath in the hospital unless they allow her to do it alone which of the following might have influenced this client hygienic practice to his uh, her culture to shave a client with a safety razor the nurse should first put on clean gloves a nurse who is caring for a patient diagnosed with hiv aids and in cuts a needle stick injury when administering the patient's medications what would the priority action of the nurse following the exposure wash the exposed area with warm water and soap the nurse assesses patients to determine their risk for healthcare related infection which hospitalized patient is most at risk for developing this type of infection a 65 year old patient who has an end end welding urinary catheter in place a nurse student a nursing student is preparing a presentation on aseptic technique which are the following statements should be included in the presentation the so dirty items contain organisms that have potential to cause infection a nursing diagnosis risk for infection has been established for a client with pneumonia which of the following nursing intervention would not be appropriate when planning cure for this client empty drainage bags when they become full a patient with a stage 3 decubitus ulcer asks the nurse if the ulcer will leave a scar once it heals which of the following is the most appropriate response usually there is scar present with this type of healing microorganisms are the entities capable of carrying on living process and are naturally present in human body as well as in the environment to so you definition of microorganism which of these client statement is the most reliable indicator that a client has an understanding of infection prevention my fingernails are short and well trimmed the nurse instructs a client in infection prevention which of the following statement if made by the client indicates that the teaching was effective i should wash my hands before changing my gown dressing when providing perineal care for a female patient the correct procedure is to wipe from pubis towards the rectum which of the following shows the correct bed making procedure the nurse is careful not to bring soiled linen in contact with his uniform thank you so much this is all about the part 3 of medical microbiology we have discussed most important issues of uh, concept of isolation and precautions in the next lecture we will discuss more issues on the medical microbiology